Hi, I'm back with Jamie Clark. It's Wednesday again for Whiteboard Wednesday. And Our favorite day of the week. I know, but yeah. what is this? I look over here at your art. I'm like, yeah. no duct fiber. What, what, what is this nastiness? So this is say no to fiber duckboard. Today we're going to talk about something that's pretty gross uh, and it's hidden in a lot of people's homes and you may not even realize you have it. If your house was built in the late 80s through 2010, there's a very good chance you might have this fibrous ductboard in there as opposed to steel ductwork, right? The, the ductwork that comes off your heating and cooling system. Yeah. Um, this product is fairly popular in Kentucky, although it's actually illegal in some other states because it's going to have to be replaced eventually. And this product here we can see, this came out of a house today. Ugh. It's full of nasty stuff on the inside of it. Um, it even has a lot of spore growth and things. That looks like it's very likely black mold. You yeah. know, can't say yeah, without getting like it tested, but it's gross. Um, if your house has this product in it, you probably have way more dust than you should. You probably have more allergies than you should. And eventually you're gonna wanna replace this and I would replace it as soon as I can because this fiber and everything in here, as this product degrades with time, that breaks down and blows into your house and you're inhaling that and yeah. it's just nasty. Can't you just clean it though, like duct cleaning? No, unfortunately, because this stuff is made out of loose fiberglass, if you clean it, you actually stir up more of the fibers and you can destroy it. So it's not cleanable. The only option is to replace it. Okay. And, and quick. I, I personally would not live in a house that had duckboard in it because I've seen too many examples of people with allergy problems or, or, or just you know dust and breathing issues and it was this stuff breaking down and as you look inside of this this thing is disgusting it is and this came out of a house that was built in the late 90s it's 20 years old and it had to be replaced there was no option and you said even the homes being built like today that are really nice homes are still yeah unfortunately we see this I was just in a house back um, two months ago brand new home they're having comfort issues, they're having dust problems. I walk up in the attic and I see this and it was a fairly expensive home and I'm like, come on, what are oh, you thinking? No. So no good quality contractor uses this product. It needs to be replaced, replace it with steel. Steel's gonna last forever, steel is cleanable and you're gonna have the cleanest house. That you, This is the, one of the biggest things you can do to improve your home's indoor air quality. If you have this product, it is contributing to bad indoor air quality, it's almost a given. Yeah, and you need to stay healthy and your respiratory, I mean, this is disgusting. Well, the, hair, the air inside your house is three to five times as dirty as outside air and if you're blowing your conditioned air over basically a product full of pollution, then you're contributing to your own problem. So let's talk about replacement of this stuff. They need to call you now, that is gross. Call us now, give us a call at 859-687-0553 or mysynergyhome.com. You can also find us on social media and let's improve the quality of your air.